Okay, greetings everyone, this is First in 2753 with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4, Power and Revolution, All Roads Lead to Delhi, playing as India. Um, in the last episode, we proposed a high-speed rail to Afghanistan through the Himalayan mountains. How are that supposed to work? Uh, if that gets approved, we're going to go ahead and extend uh, the rail line to capitals of our major cities of our other allies here in Central Asia, trying to expand the... Uh, Central Asian trade agreement that uh, we set up a few you know, back in the beginning of the series. I think I still have. Um, there it is. Uh, not too many countries have joined, but I did offer it to a lot of different countries Afghanistan, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Iraq, Kazakhstan, Turkey, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan. Turkmenistan is that on there? Yeah, crap. Okay. So, um, that is offered to a lot of people. I'm listening carefully. Let me give aid to the Iranian much, party, thank you political for your party pressure. that we favor. And, uh, the Korean War has ended, or at least it's ended for us. Conflict is still going on. North Korea is facing numerous adversaries here. Um, but we are out of it, because Japan is out of it. And I think I didn't go about that the right way as far as, um... Look at these Mujahideen. There are a lot. I wonder if I can give... Damn! Why is that refused? We offered to pay the whole thing. Uh, project failed. Afghanistan does not improve the track. Proposed track because it stops in one or several countries deemed unsuitable. Ah, well, that just blows the whole plan there. I'm not sure what I was going to do now. Um, I'm listening carefully. Okay. Thank you for your. Uh, Minister of Health, Noah Lay, is still advocating. Uh, heavily for more healthcare expenses. So we have to go and check this out to appease our minister. They're also a patron. I have to appease patrons for sure. Um, and uh, I think it's these three areas that you want there. No, we have reimbursement for visits to the doctor, reimbursements for hospital treatment, and reimbursements for prescription. I'm still trying to manage the inflation here. Down to 12%. <clears throat> Excuse me. I didn't want to increase too much spending. Uh, until I got the single digits, but uh, we do p uh, Patreons on this channel, and uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, I think I'm going to do this incrementally if you don't mind there, uh, Minister, and uh, we're going to do, I think, one per turn. Let's see what it all costs here. That's five billion dollars. Fourteen billion, that's another nine there, and twenty-two billion, so twenty-two billion dollars. Um, I'm going to do one at a time, and... I guess one per quarter for the next three quarters. And uh, maybe we can use this to help measure how that actually improves these healthcare statistics. So here's a nice look at healthcare. Uh, national expenditures at three, I don't know if that's three billion or three percent of our GDP. Percent of GDP allocated to healthcare costs, so three. We now have three percent of our GDP is allocated to healthcare costs. Uh, life expectancy has been growing. We're up to 73. See how far we can push that up. Child mortality rate has dropped. And that usually correlates with high life expectancy. Uh, that's still pretty high child mortality rate. 40%. That's insanely high. Um, population per medical doctor is 1,500, down from 2,000. Population per hospital bed has not uh, gone down as much. I think we need more hospitals, probably. Um, I don't know what this is. Uh, death due to AIDS. Alright, and there we go. So I guess that's all the health statistics we have. Does anyone else know any other statistics for health out there? I'm not sure. Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna go with the cheapest one first. Um, reimbursement for prescriptions is high. Wow. Hospital treatment. Reimbursements for visits to the doctor. There we go. Let's go ahead and confirm that $5 billion expended. And we'll see. Uh, budgets will be changed next week, within one week. The other thing I was looking into was research facilities, because they were saying they were cramped buildings here. Um, let's do the math if I can. That times three gets us around 11,000, I believe. <clears throat> and then 42 uh, times 11,000. Don't forget that number, 11,000. And 42,000. Did I get that right? 11,000? No, 30. That's uh, 110,000. Sorry. 110,000. 
got to add the zero. Uh, 110,000. Is that right? Yeah, 110,000. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Multidisciplinary centers, 110,000 plus 42, plus that's about 50, 150,000. And whoa, we do not have enough. Um, nowhere near enough. So these probably are cheap. 13 million. Uh, 30,000. Can we do that? 30,000? That's 1.3 billion. Uh, manpower to allocate. Maybe. Available manpower and then manpower. Alright, uh, we have plenty of available. I'm gonna wait to see what the uh, results are from the um, budget expansion, healthcare budget expansion on inflation. See if it has any impact. I don't know if it impacts inflation or not, but we're gonna check that out. Health, public finance. Check into taxes. $13 billion surplus still. Almost done with the debt. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, no way I can edit this anymore, too. I'm dealing with that. I tried to... I actually had to fill out a YouTube survey saying I want the editor back. Bring back the YouTube editor. And I can uh, press the cough button. I guess I could press the cough button right now if I just mute this. Okay, that was disgusting. Hopefully you guys didn't hear that. And I had no the water. I forgot to get my water. I felt my water glass and I can't get up for another 20 minutes because this episode's running. Um, so I'm stuck here. Anyways, we're not going to expand into Central Asia. Ah, Afghanistan. I wonder if I can aid them in fighting the Mujahideen. Uh... Let's go into their conflict. Mujahideen. Afghanistan. Go to war and attack one of the two warring parties. Before we do that, we need to get access to Afghanistan. Oh no. It's awful. No, not no, a suicide. it's not terrible a assassination. Suicide. There's no doubt about that. But a terrible assassination. Who's this guy? Yes, yes, the journalists are oh, already there. Who am I? What's my name? That wasn't me. Thank God. Okay, maybe we need more security then. Still waiting to see what the results are. Where are police? It's the police. That's a new game. Or an old game. Security of head of state. Public safety. Highway patrol. I think I need security of head of state increase. Local district police. Political police. I can probably cut that. People would like it if I cut it. That's not a lot of money. Fight against illegal immigration is not getting a lot of funds. But we don't have a lot of illegal immigration, I don't think. No, I'm not worried there. Available position. Yeah, you can go ahead and fill it because I am not into the minister game. I just have not had interest or time to analyze that. So many other things going on in this game. Um, in a statement sent to the press. The terrorist organization has claimed responsibility for the operation. We have collected intelligence from... Alright, now I gotta deal with a terrorist organization. Check this out. I think we... I have gotten through the funding. The situation has stabilized. Yeah, well, we're not at war with them anymore. No, thank you. Uh, terrorist. Which group was it? I don't know which group it was. Okay. <clears throat> All right, here we should definitely get a recalibration here and see if there's any impact on inflation or healthcare statistics. Probably not healthcare. Yeah, I think those are probably long-term statistics. I would assume. Come on. Come on. Let's go. There you go. Okay. Inflation has dropped. So we don't, that's not, that didn't have too big of an impact. Inflation is still going down. I'm going to wait till the next quarter, which is going to be in about through 10 days. And then we'll add more healthcare expenditures 
In the meantime, um, let's build some facilities. What did we say? Laboratories. I was thinking 100, right? 100 laboratories would be about 30,000. <clears> Still isn't enough. But it's what we got, I think. Oh, I can't do it. What's the max? A lot of stuff going on here on the left that I'm not paying attention to. 100. Oh, I have to select the region. Distribute over the full territory. Fire away $1.3 billion in more laboratories. The theory Bangladesh that says party. if E1 doesn't yes, like Yes, we're going to approach them. Continue to fund those radicals. Sovereign radicals. Not worried about you. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Lady. Uh, refuse. And refuse. And... The situation has gone back to normal. Yeah. I think we should restore to... diplomatic relations with this country. The situation has gone back to normal. Do you want me to ask, you me to if, ask we if we can make a joint decision to reopen our respective embassies? embassies? No. I want to reopen the embassies there. We'll keep... Um, because North Korea, oh, is North Korea still fighting all those countries? Yes, they're still fighting the United States. Yeah, so no. I want a friend, I want to buddy up with the United States. How are our relations? Good, not bad, not bad relations with the United States. Western Europeans, though, England, France, not so much. Germany, not so much. Um, Russia, very good. Iranian, uh, diplomat. Uh, Iranian relations, excuse me, have improved, but not with the Middle East. And we've got famine there. War still going on in uh, Somalia. Poland is not getting any ground. They have a number of bases all over the place here. Intervention. Should I intervene in any of these conflicts? Uh, should I intervene in Somalia? Should I intervene in Afghanistan? I could try to intervene. First of all, let's see if I can can intervene in these. Let's go ahead and meet with the Afghani president and see if I can get access to their airspace. Of course, I'd need to establish like a base in Uzbekistan or something like that. Let's talk to the Uzbeks afterwards. <clears throat> if we can establish a base in Uzbekistan, then maybe we can launch airstrikes against the Afghans. That would be something to keep us busy. I thought that was running. Um, schools are also another thing we need to work on. More schools. And again, I don't have the number for schools yet. I know teachers. We can measure the teacher numbers and reducing reducing the amount of students per teacher, which is fantastic. But I don't know how I am measuring schools because it doesn't tell you like it does in. Um, what do you call it? Doesn't seem to be a lot of secondary schools. Doesn't tell you like it does in research. No, stop this. Oh my god. They want me to assassinate world leaders left and ah, oh, nice. $21 billion cash surplus, that's what I needed. The national recruitment. And meeting with Afghan coffee for the sure. Afghan? Yes, dark and strong. Very kind. Very honorable. Renegotiate alliance. We have a support alliance. Can I gain access? Let's grant each other access across the board. Yes! Fantastic! We now have land access. Wow, can I establish a base there? Oh, come on. Come on. We'll offer bases per... Fantastic. Fantastic. Now I'm going to build an airbase. Oh, wow. Look at this. How many bases can I get? Woo! One more. Let's try two more. Can I just get it? Oh, wow. Oh, no, that was my land. Oh, I did that wrong. Good. Four bases. Well, all right, so we can now build four bases in Afghanistan. <laughs> Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Alright, I think we're going to be intervening in the Afghan conflict, it looks like. Um, still getting famine donations. I think I definitely need education schools. How many can I get? 10,000 for 142 billion. No. No, that's way too much. 
cancel that. Uh, meeting with these radicals. I'm listening Offer carefully. Aid. How Thank you for your. Got it. I need the Uzbeks. Coffee for you, sir. Sure. Dark and strong. Very kind. Yes, they like their coffee in Central Asia. Um, I don't need the land. Hey. Incompatible rights. We need to get land access. Let's see if we can't get land access. Damn. All right. No access to Uzbekistan. No building bases in Uzbekistan. That's it for that conversation. Fuse. There we go. Okay. All right, and we are in the next quarter. Uh, I should build schools. Let's see what, what do I have as far as finances here. Good. The terrorist com. organization. Uh, Twenty-two billion in excess. We are down below two hundred billion dollars in debt. Fantastic. Eleven percent inflation. Eleven point nine percent inflation. Fan dab tactic. Uh, let's see what we got here. Reimbursement for hospital treatment. This is the most expensive one. I think nine billion dollars. Go ahead and confirm that star. Okay, we'll be adding that. Any improvements here? Not yet. And we're not expecting to see any. Uh, probably for some time, because I think that's going to take some time. Should take some time. Ooh. This is one of my programs? Hold on. Okay. What program is it? Where? Health, healthcare, refugees, public spending. Which program is launching? I haven't been looking at the space program at all. Um, this is not one of the ones that I established. This is one of the ones that has been established. Mars. Mars preparation launch. Launch date is five days. We are going to launch put in this program here. Construction and launch of a space probe that will land on a celestial body in the solar system. The probe will carry a rover, a small exploration robot. That will analyze the environment beyond its landing site and return images. We're going to Mars with a space probe and an exploration robot. Very good. The program, the Indian um, space program, is doing fantastic. And Ed, Eddie Giles, if I said it right, thank you for correcting my pronunciation there, buddy. Um, I think you were the one who mentioned a whole bunch of names uh, that I'm not sure if they're all politically correct, um, but I enjoy reading them, and um, I kind of got a little bit of a laugh at them, but I don't want to offend anybody. <clears throat> but, um, uh, yeah, I don't know if podcast. I can use a lot of those names. Um, but uh, very creative, sir. Um, and thank you for all the comments this week. And there's a lot of good comments this week. Thanks for everyone on the channel for adding the comments. Uh, Tyler Type, very glad that uh, you're enjoying these videos. And everyone else who's been uh, commenting on the channel there. Um, a lot of comments on what was going on in North Korea and uh, Japan and everything that we had, the whole conflict there, and how that unfolded. Definitely some sort of glitch, uh, probably with the Japanese. Like you guys said, going through South Korean territory and that leading to all kinds of conflicts, maybe bringing the United States involved. That was just a mess. We have our satellites over Sri Lanka still, but not a lot of uh, action. Did I get, do I have? No. Let's move this satellite closer to the city, and there should be... There should be... Naval base, military base, we gotta move this thing closer there, and there should be another satellite somewhere. Got a whole bunch of satellites out there. Alright, creation of a new ambitious space program in the United States created Jupiter. Jupiter! US 05. Ah, oh, they're going to Jupiter, huh? And Neptune! China's going to Neptune? Oh my god, I wanna check these out actually. Where are they going? Are they crazy? Neptune! That's so far out there. Um, the United States, Jupiter mission, right? Jupiter, what is this one there? Funding. And what is the program? Manned orbital flight. 
participate in the program. What good would it do to participate in the program? Maybe it'll get them to participate in our program. I don't feel like doing it. Maybe later. China's going to Neptune. Let's check that out. Alright, and they're doing a space probe. Return samples to Earth from Neptune? Wow. Okay. Okay, so schools was the issue. Is the next is next on the pecking order here. Uh, he, how many schools do I build? I don't know. I don't know how many I need. I don't know. I know there's a big chunk of kids moving through. There's like one like class that's gonna be like huge, enormous class uh, of kids because we just had for some reason huge population explosion in one year, which makes no sense why that would happen. Um, so ten thousand, that's too many. Let's see what one thousand brings. <clears throat> Twenty-two billion. Two billion for one seventy. Ooh, countdown. Um, invite you to watch the launch. Yes, sir. We'll watch it. This is our launch, and we are going to Mars. And it is in India. We're launching it at our own site. One of our own sites. And come on, baby, get up there. Keep going. Looks like a big rocket. Keep going. I'm thinking about doing some space uh, programs. I was thinking, as, as mentioned, that I was talking about that with uh, uh, one of the uh, Patreons yesterday, uh, Ari Holyfield, my Minister of Industry in the Indian Indian series. And I was looking at different. Uh, that's a cool launch pad. Can I get the zoom in on it? Nice. I wish they had movies for like what happens in space, that would be even cooler. But I was looking at Starship Corporation, I'm not sure I'm thrilled with that one. I, I want to do a space uh, series. Uh, Kerbal Space is definitely more uh, up my alley, I think. There's also Buzz Aldrin. Our governmental cell informs me that it has had... Kerbal Space was one of the uh, programs mentioned there by Ed Giles. Eddie Giles. As... Uh, A name for one of our programs. Hold on to your turban. Uh, that's that's something. Um, that made me laugh when I read that. Um, I shouldn't laugh at that. Sorry. Anyways, mole new. No. Mole protected. Um. Where is that going? Oh, that's one of our... That's one of our airlines. I wish this game had more of an understanding of... I wish I could understand more of logistics, like what is at the naval base? What is going in and out of these ports? How much is being transported, like this port, naval port right here? I wish I could tell you, like, what like, the capacity is. And, you know, can I, can I, should I extend the rail line there? Uh, I'll tell you with the airports, how much frequency are they getting in the airports? I mean, there's gotta be an airport here, right? There's an airport landing. So these high traffic airport. I know it's high traffic. Well, I guess it does tell you. Four, 54 million passengers. I don't know, I just wish I could do more with the data. Air bases here. Oh, air bases, that's right. Afghanistan. Let's build a base in Afghanistan. Alright, Mujahideen seems to be concentrated in the south. So we want to build an air base in the north somewhere. Close to the Uzbek border, I think, would be good. Um, let's go ahead and build military army. Construction. Oh, we should build military camps. I want an airbase there. In Af not India. In Afghanistan. Position it right here. Near the Uzbek border, maybe with potential the allies. The theory that says if E1 doesn't like E2 and E2 doesn't like another E3. Another Iranian political party. I wish I could see the breakdown of political parties per country too. 
That would be interesting. Keep this going through the next month. And we are looking at uh, about 25 minutes, so liberties, militarism, defense, eh, whatever. <clears throat> this base, Bhutan, Bhutanese, we don't need. Uh, this base will be constructed 270 days. All right, so building bases in Afghanistan, yes. Airstrikes will be launched, and I'm going to need a military camp probably. Maybe near the capital of Kabul. Who's that? That's in the U.S. Build our own military camp out there. Army. Military camp. You have no soldiers. You have no soldier units in the situation of setting a camp. Oh, oh we need the soldiers to be out there. Alright, so we're just going to have to build a land base in Afghanistan. Position near Kabul. And offer some protection there. Beautiful. All right, we are extending our influence over the region, I think, huh? And then once we have troops out there, we can build camps. I like it. This is exciting. Indian militarism is on the rise. Extending our influence I'm throughout listening Central carefully. Asia. How much would this aid a... Thank you and for your pressure. politically still funding parties... The national defense. And we're probably right. We'll need some more troops. They are moving into another territory. Let's go ahead and bump it up more than that. I'm thinking 5,000 new troops. Okay. 43 million. And let's throw in another 1,000 special forces because they're always good to have. $164 million confirmed. And things are looking good. Where's my inflation? Passivism. Passivism liked it? What? Inflation's at 11%. Growth is down. But I'm not worried about that. I want to bring the inflation down. I can, always, I can easily stimulate growth. Easily. Now, did I do the education? Did I pay for more? No, I did not. And I'm spending a lot, and I wasn't keeping track of everything I was spending here. Alright, let's see. We're not going to do that many. Let's go for 600 for now. Keep it light. Yeah. Let's do 470. Let's do 270. Yeah. Keep it light for now. Okay. Okay. All right. The other thing I should part, probably start getting back to is uh, <clears throat> extending my rail lines. Or my, not my rail lines, my highways. So we want all roads to lead to Delhi is the objective here. Connected that one. I mean, I want to just build throughout like a... Oh, we need to connect there. Let's connect those two provinces. Highways. Spending a lot this quarter. Not keeping track of it. Just recklessly spending. Main highway. 1.5 billion. Confirm. And we still have plenty of available manpower. And that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you're enjoying. Again, uh, check out Plutocracy. Wasted public funds. Uh, check Plutocracy in the description below. Here we go. Large construction project. First of all, good for national tourism. And the region cities served by the new freeway are really bad choices. I don't know how to make good choices. I'm connecting all the roads. That's the objective of the game. All cities will be connected. I don't care if they're bad choices or not. I really should probably make a highway down this way and connect a bunch of them. We'll see. Uh, any suggestions for highway construction, feel free to comment down below as well as comment on anything you like. <clears throat> like the video if you did, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you'd like to see more. Um, 
Also, you can fund me on Patreon, link in the description below. Benefits will include uh, early access to video, as well as priority suggestions for new series. Uh, I'm probably going to do some sort of rewards package too. Some sort of this this summer, I'm going to put together some sort of rewards package for my uh, Patreons there uh, to uh, give them a little more rewards for all their support, which I appreciate uh, greatly. I have four new Patreons. Oh, who was the no? Yeah, we talked about the the, the new one. Uh, gentleman Gastronaut, thank you again for becoming a new subscriber, new Patreon, as well as Dominic Nesbitt, uh, Noah Lay, and Ari Holyfield. Great guys, love your support and love your advice and your comments. Um, and also, again, one more time, uh, Indiegogo campaign for Plutocracy. Looks like a very interesting game. Game of wealth, power, and prestige in the Gilded Age, uh, 19th century United States. Seems to be something similar to this. Um, and we'll see what that looks like. So check that out in the link description below and back it if you're interested. Uh, and that's everything for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.